Next, uh, I request the CCA, Ms. Julurani Das Kaile, to address the gathering, ma'am, and as well as inaugurate the webinar. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, Dr. Balaji. Good morning, Dr. Sudarshan and other participants, speakers. And uh, I'm very, very happy to uh, see that this is you are this is your second program in this mode and it is you are going ahead and it is it seems to be going well in the uh, new mode or new normal as Harsh says and I'm also very happy that you are able to bring together uh, all aspects of PKI uh, other than what uh, SIDAC has to offer. I have been in a, uh, in a conventional mode. I have been part of many, quite a few of these programs in the past uh, across the country. But uh, the, this time, uh, not, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of uh, different, but it also gives us a leverage in the sense that you are able to get experts um, because they have to also come in or they can come in through their, from where, wherever they are. They don't have to travel and therefore it is easier to take that slot uh, to be able to deliver uh, talks about all their experience. Uh, so you are able to have the technology, the legal aspects, the implementation details, and so, and of course, what SIDAC Bangalore is doing. Uh, I would say that over a period of over many, many years of uh, experience, SIDAC Bangalore has already acquired quite a lot of uh, expertise in this area. We all know whoever is in the ecosystem. We are able to see initially, this is, a, this is a challenging time we are all facing. Initially, we saw that there, like any other businesses, there was a, a dip in DSC issuance numbers uh, around February this year. And uh, gradually, next couple of months, it went down. But since last month, June in fact, June and July, we, we could see that it was going up again. And today uh, we crossed that stage of where we started in February and we went beyond. In fact, we have our, uh, naturally, the number of DACs issues, the statistics that we, that we collect, uh, it always is a, is, a, is a graph which is going higher, higher and higher. And today, again, we are in the same situation of having last month or month and this month, I mean, July and August, we saw again the graph going up and it has crossed our uh, February data um, end of June. So uh, I would say, uh, like, uh, you know, every, I mean, I could assume that at least in our segment, um, it has become, uh, I would say, business as usual. It, uh, we have found ways to, uh, uh, to come to the situation of business as usual. Uh, we also have, uh, we have uh, a number of applications, which uh, I would again, uh, not talk about technology and uh, legal aspects, we have tried uh, our best to uh, bring about changes uh, so that uh, more and more uh, of our organizations who were from where bulk of our DSCs are, are issued and used uh, because, of, because of huge e-governance applications. We have tried to see their difficulties, see what the law or the act allows us to do and try to, do, uh, try to bring in measures such that uh, it is easier for uh, those who are implementing 
large projects uh, in e-governance as well as e-commerce and, uh, and, and uh, do whatever we need to do to bring about changes in our uh, guidelines or in our uh, rules wherever we can uh, so that in the end the beneficiaries get uh, the ultimate benefit. Just to uh, give you, and there are, there's a very interesting uh, uh, phenomena which I would like to share with you. One of our very large applications is uh, uh, PFMS. This application is used by, uh, is well known or rather uh, this is more known for DBT, direct benefit transfer of the government. We have a huge number of uh, transactions which are happening electronically or digitally, whereby uh, these uh, the, the ultimate beneficiaries through their institutions, uh, maybe it, it can be a pension, it can be a scholarship, or it can be any anything. Uh, it, these, the beneficiaries data come to us, come to, uh, come to a portal or a, an application. It, it is too huge to be called actually an application. There are mega applications. And, uh, uh, and once they are, uh, the, their data comes that these are the beneficiaries of, let's say this month where payment has to be made, the payment cycle completely happens automatically to their accounts and the authorization happens using the DSC. We have about at this point in time just, and each application is different. Uh, I, I do come from uh, probably um, more of a implementation background uh, being from NIC. Uh, each application is different. This application currently we have about 20,000 uh, DSC which active DSCs which are registered. It is actually about 40,000, but current active I would talk about is about 20,000. It's like uh, our, uh, let's say all of us know our PAO. PAO has to authorize payment for let's say our salary every month to go. So for all our salary, let's say of SIDAC Bangalore, if there's someone or mighty, there's only one, uh, one signature which is required. One DSC, signature using DSC is required. However, the, these 20,000 such uh, DSC holders, they actually for on PFMS made up to January to August, up to 66.7 lakh transactions. And this is not the end beneficiary transaction. End beneficiary transaction is end benefit that is to my account that my salary went or to somebody's account that the pension went. This is 3.58 crores. So, uh, but like I said, there's one signature for whole of mighty. That number is 66.7 lakhs up to, uh, this is up to August. To 2020 from January. So if you look at it, this 20,000 DSCs are actually uh, able to enable uh, by virtue of the 66.7 lakh transactions, the be benefit that went to 3.58 crores in last eight, eight months alone. So uh, this, is, um, this is phenomenal. But that's not what I want to point out. What I want to point out is different. What I want to say is that this is a large country. So there are parts of the country where, uh, and it, this, these, are, these are these schemes that we have, the benefit schemes, they are from different ministries, be it education or health or or agriculture, they're, they're all throughout uh, all segments of or all ministries encompassing all ministries of central government and many a time state governments as well. Some, the, we had a very large number of transactions which were not happening using DSC because they say, because it was said that it is not possible, we are not able to get the DSC token, we are not able to get 
their DSCs and so on and so forth. So there are some, you know, 30% or, or so, there are some via media, uh, which is uh, again, electronically, digitally, uh, way, of, way was found by which uh, uh, the transaction could happen uh, as uh, securely or uh, as uh, with ease, but without the DSC, uh, I would not say equivalent, but it could happen. Now, when the pen, when this COVID times, this, these are the times in which uh, pandemic environment, nobody wants to go to the bank. So these people who were themselves saying that it's so difficult for us and this and that, if somebody is not willing, it is very hard in government to really enforce, particularly in the farthest part of the country, not even farthest part, I've seen the data, it is across the country. But this time, you would not believe that numbers have increased all, uh, if almost 100%. Those who were not, those who were using the short, the other path, instead of the DSC path, that the migration from non-DSC to DSC have in some months, I have months, in fact, I would not say I have month wise data that has increased sometimes 100%. That means if there are Say, um, uh, say 27 lakh transactions, say 4 lakh transactions which were happening um, in the month of May, it became 8 lakh transactions which happened uh, through uh, the D with the DSC. So, uh, this pandemic situation has today, I think this is a CGA project. I think today they have uh, mandated that there will not be this paper way at the PPA or print payment advice that they call it, which is non-DSC uh, that will not happen. Today they are in a situation. So we have had, uh, in a way, very interestingly, uh, the project benefited. I would not say we, I would say project benefited in terms of uh, having uh, watertight, uh, secure transactions using DSC, which has really, which is really, really, something which was, uh, I was very, very happy to know. We also have a very, very large application, uh, applications which from the beginning have been using DSCs, one of them being e-procurement, which is uh, through which government and uh, many PSUs and many organizations use this. We have very large numbers there. And there again, we have, uh, 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 we have over 8.7 lakh stakeholders. The stakeholders, by the stakeholders, I mean who have DSC, registered DSC and in their application. By stakeholder, I mean they are bidders who go in and go bid for a tender, as well as uh, those who float the tenders or open the tenders. And so on both sides, I'm able to, we have mandatory in the government to have um, uh, DSC, at least three, four of them, so that two of them together have to open the bid. So whether it is the bidder or the, those who are floating the tender or opening the bid, they, uh, that number is something like, in one application alone, e-procurement 8.7 lakh. So we have very large number, and each one of them, I'm not, I do not have the number about how much uh, the, the um, unlike PFMS, uh, if, if I am, uh, let's say, a purchase officer of a particular government department, how many on the average times I uh, float the bid or open the bid or how many times I sign, I don't have the number. But at the very low, but as I said, each application is different, so the numbers will be different. So the, uh, uh, the trust in, in the technology and uh, uh, and PKI based on uh, the IT Act, the legal validity of it, the, uh, the, the technology sturdiness of it, or uh, the way or the processes that bind the technology and the process and the law, or uh, how we have fared so far. I would say in a, in a large country, it is all many a times, there may be a very fine technology, but if 
uh, the for some reason, for some um, uh, misimplementation or something missing in an implementation in the past, have given uh, us a, a, a case of a, a, a failure or some kind of a mistake that impacts uh, the future uh, implementations in that segment very badly. So it could be the technology is fine, it could be the application looks fine, but uh, because of the past uh, experience or past uh, uh, record, uh, uh, the, the future implementations become either slow or uh, the trust level, trust level not in the technology, but trust level among the uh, decision makers or the among, among them who are responsible for implementing goes down and not so, uh, and therefore uh, the growth we do not see so much. Thankfully, uh, in this segment, there are, there have been starting with MCA, which is for uh, Ministry of Company Affairs, the MCA 21, a classic application which we always uh, uh, quote, and they are doing well. They are, uh, in fact, uh, happy that we could bring down the time for this day issuance to a couple of hours uh, for ease of doing business, and then we made it mandatory. Uh, they are still uh, doing very well and going uh, well. They, we have very large, we have, I think, 12 lakh companies registered, and each one of them have to, for for the for registration itself or the subsequently for filing they have to use dsc so i i would say we are uh, in a good situation as far as the implementation of dsc or pki in the country goes and uh, with the pandemic also uh, this uh, the, the the ecosystem has uh, bounced back as we can see from uh, the statistics that we have and in fact, sometimes some of the place, sometimes it probably have in, even benefited in terms of application uh, reach or application implementation in, in the secure sense. Uh, there, uh, therefore, I uh, am happy that to, uh, to be uh, part of this, uh, this uh, program and uh, I, uh, as Harsh said, we did not, and nobody anticipated, we also and did not anticipate it while we were uh, discussing and formulating this, pro this uh, new project. Um, but uh, I'm seeing like we were, we are, when we do our annual audit, we are seeing what can be done, cannot be done remotely. Here also with this, uh, uh, with this new mode of learning or uh, that our tools that we have, we are able to go ahead and we are able to do well. And I wish um, uh, that uh, all the participants uh, with whatever expectations they are coming to join us will benefit immensely. And I wish all the best uh, with this program. Thank you very much.